Um, thank you, Steph. Matthew, I'm just going to leave my camera off just because I'm driving at the moment, but I'm going to pull over so you might see me before this is, at, is done. All right, drive safely. All right, absolutely. First of all, is everyone safe? This is a little crazy weather. Yeah, I mean, it's been, it's been wild, but so far so good. Uh, hope everybody stays safe out there. A lot of, you know, down trees and power lines. So hope everybody's staying safe with this weather. Absolutely. Um, Matthew, how would you describe the, just the mood, the mentality of the team, you know, with three games to go here? Yeah, you know, um, look, I think it goes without saying, Mike, this has been a challenging year. Uh, to say the least, but I think guys are fighting to the finish, which you certainly appreciate. And uh, it says a lot about the men that we have in that locker room. So uh, what I love is that no one has changed their approach. Everybody's staying committed to the process, um, trying to learn, trying to get better, working to improve all the way and, and competing to the end. So, I think our mindset is to compete to the finish here. Uh, obviously, the die has been cast on our season, but, you know, we're hopeful to finish up on a positive note. Yesterday, uh, for a moment, there was a little bit of a scare just along the sideline there when you stayed down. Um, how, how, what was running through your mind at the moment, and can you just give us a feel for how you came out of that whole thing? Yeah. Well, I'm old, Mike. I'm, I'm, I've been beat up this year. I mean, that, that's part of the process. Uh, thank God I was able to get up and come back into the game. Um, and, you know, at this stage, you just kind of take it one day at a time. Uh, I've spent a lot of time with our training staff this year. They've been great in, in keeping me out on the field. So, um, you know, I'm thankful. Like I said, I'm thankful I was able to get up and come back in the game and, and finish the game. And, you know, now I'm going to just take things one day at a time and we'll go from there. Matthew, we, we saw some signs of life there from the kickoff return unit uh, yesterday. She's, I thought that first one, that was a, that was a tough one to see come back. Um, I wanted to just get your opinion on what you saw from that unit yesterday. Yeah. You know, I thought our guys did a great job uh, of blocking up front. And then I thought Jalen did a great job of, of running with the football uh, he ran tough. He broke some arm tackles. He made some good decisions and he was aggressive with the football. And uh, that was one of the more productive days that we've had. Um, I thought the unit really competed well, communicated well. Uh, Kansas City gave us some different looks uh, that challenged our, our blocking assignments, but I thought we did a good job of picking them up. And then, you know, obviously um, disappointed in, in how they saw the, the first one. Um, you know, I thought our guys did a good job of playing the play clean, and you know, it's unfortunate that they got called back. And we'll go next question, Mark Daniels. Hey, Matthew, hope all is well. Um, one yes, how are you? Good, good, man. Thank you. Um, I want to ask you about the the elements and sort of the kicking game. And there were there were two missed field goals, each team in the first half. And I just wanted, you know, from your perspective, is there anything that contributed to that? Yeah, well, I mean, it, you know, definitely don't want to speak for for uh, for Harrison or Chad, but I would say that when you come here, this is one of the tougher places to kick in the National Football League. Obviously, that big jumbotron uh, or screen at the closed end, at the open end, rather, has a uh, – changed the the wind pattern uh, within the stadium but this has historically been one of the tougher places to kick because of the wind there's a swirling wind uh, within our stadium and sometimes it's hard uh, to play that wind you know you try to overplay it and maybe it doesn't break the way you think or uh, maybe you don't think it's windy at all and then it does um, take the ball so you know, it's tough to say. I've never kicked in the stadium, so it's tough to say what was going on yesterday. But uh, you never assume anything when the ball's kicked in this stadium. And and from your perspective, how's how's Chad been doing? I mean, some some up and down. We see, you know, how far he can kick the ball, but obviously, probably not the consistency there that you know he would like, and you guys would. Be. Yeah. Well, look, I would say this: uh, no one has higher expectations of, of for Chad than Chad. Um, he is. Very tough on himself. Um, he expects a lot out of himself. And, and we all do because we have a lot of confidence in his ability and we know what he can be. 
obviously this has been a challenging year for everyone. Um, and I'm sure we all would tell you there's certain plays and situations that we would like back, but he's staying positive. Um, he's staying true to his process. And I think that's all he can really do right now. And, you know, now is not the time to have any self doubt. Um, you know, just keep doing what you're doing, Chad, and, and, and things will work themselves out. And I think that's the approach that he's taking. Awesome. Thank you, Matthew. Like always, I appreciate it. No problem. And we'll go back to Mike Reese. Matthew, I'm glad I could come back on camera just so you could see me here on this. There you one. are. There we are, front seat. Um, you know, I, I've heard you talk about how much you care about Gerald. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you know, yesterday obviously was tough. Um, how do you support him, you know, in a situation like that where, you know, yeah. how, how do you support him? Yeah, and, and, and you know, I'll, I'll say this. I'm glad you asked that. Um, you know, I'm not intimately familiar with the details of that situation. I don't know everything that's going on, but I think so oftentimes with athletes, uh, we're, we're put on this pedestal, like we've got everything together and our personal lives are great and we're role models and et cetera, but we're, we're human beings just like everyone else. And we struggle with a number of different things uh, in our personal lives and our professional lives. And, and they affect us all differently. And I think anytime guys are going through things, uh, my hope is that I can support them in any way that they feel comfortable in letting me support them, whether it's uh, something as simple as prayer or, or having them over to the house, whatever it may be. But um, I know Gerald knows this, I, I love him. Uh, I've, I've always been very fond of him since he, since he first got here years ago. And I want nothing but the best for him. And I think if you ask anyone in our locker room that same question, they'll tell you the same thing. Um, you know, we, we care about his well-being as a human being, first and foremost. Um, we want to see him be health, healthy, um, both physically and mentally. We want to see him be successful. And all that is with football side. I mean, uh, you know, we put such a heavy emphasis on football. And, and rightfully so, it's our job. But it's not the ultimate you know, it's an important thing, but it's not the ultimate thing. And uh, for Gerald, I hope he, he hears and understands and knows that for us, uh, we just want to see him be well. Um, and that's the, the most important thing. Thank you, Matthew. No problem.